Hey guys, back with another video. This is going to be my 23rd application review, so let's get this one started. I'm not going to sound too amazing this one. Um, I have family coming at 10.30. It's 10.15. I woke up at 10.10 just so I could do this video. Um, but anyway, let's get this one started. Um, I've had a lot of requests for these new application views that I open into a wider variety of apps um, like entertainment or utilities and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of these apps in this are just going to be entertainment and utilities. I don't actually think there's any games at all. But anyway, uh, first one that I have is called Tweeter. It is a free um, Twitter client. If you guys know what Twitter, it is, Twitter is, um, it is a online website where you can update your status and pretty much just follow others. Uh, it's a great way to communicate and to reach out to others. Um, very simple, this is a free app called Tweeter, and all you have to do really is you just download it, you sync your username, uh, type anything you'd like to, um, and then you can just click post, and it's posted onto your username, it's on the internet and everything, it's up there in just a couple seconds, you need to have Wi-Fi access for it to sync with your uh, online account, but it's very simple, um, that's all you pretty much have, there's a couple configurations, you can just change your account, uh, you can get a darker theme color, there's only two different ones, they're kind of boring. Uh, you can make a footer, so you can have like a little sign off, like a signature move that you want to do for everyone you have. And then um, you have a little legal document thingy right here. But that's pretty much all you got for this one. It's called Tweeter, it's my favorite Twitter client application. It's also free, so I definitely recommend that one if you even have Twitter. That's called Tweeter. Next apps that we have. This next one I love. Um, it is a little bit more of a mature application. It's called I Can Has Cheeseburger. Um, and all it is is just funny pictures found through the um, internet. There's a bunch of different websites that are with this. It's I Can Has Cheeseburger, I Has a Hot Dog, Fail Blog, Pundin Kitchen, Graph Jam, English Funny, Totally Looks Like, Raffle Rozzy. Um, so I, my favorite is Fail Blog because I've been following this website a little bit lately. But all it is really is just very simple pictures. But as you guys see, it is a little bit more of an, um, a mature application. There's some inappropriate stuff in here. So, but like this one example, first picture that comes up for this uh, this one, it is a uh, holiday time shattered shatterproof ornaments, and right in the box it just has a shattered ornament, and. Uh, so I think that's kind of funny. There's just all it is is just funny pictures. It's not videos. You can download the pictures too. Very simple. All you have to do is just click this little box and it's a web page or save to photos. Um, you can go through, scan through them, or you can flip through them. It's very simple. It's just like if you had these photos saved into your uh, photo library on your iPod or on your iPhone. Very simple. Uh, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, which you need to have for this, it um, depends how fast you'll be able to flip through pictures. But anyway, I would definitely recommend this one. It is called. I can has cheeseburger, and cheeseburger is spelled C H E E Z. Um, but anyway, that is a free app. Surprisingly, it's got all some of the best, funniest websites on the uh, internet. So I definitely recommend going out to get that one. It's one of my favorite new ones. Also, a free app. Um, next that we have, um, this one's kind of iffy. I guess you could say it's called Fake Excuse. Uh, it's a lot better if you have an iPhone. An iPod Touch, I guess, could work. You just need to have your cell phone up next to it. But uh, all it is is just a huge list of excuses that have time. Um, they have clips, little sound clips for them. So you need to have a second gen or an iPhone. You can't do this with a first gen iPod Touch. Um, but anyway, all it is really is there's just a huge list of uh, sound clips. And example, if you want to get out of an awkward conversation or if you want to get out of an awkward situation, you can just play any of these sound clips and they should be able to help get you out. Some of them are kind of realistic. Some of them are kind of stupid. Well, let's find a good one. Are there any good ones? A car almost hit me. Um, they're just really simple. Wolves are nearby. Here's one for bees. door knock. So anyway, as you guys see, it's really simple, uh, very basic. This is a free application, obviously. I would never pay for this, but it's kind of fun to mess around with, and um, I don't know, it could work. You could pull it on some of your friends if you want to actually just do a little prank. But anyway, very simple. All you have up here is your, uh, this is the bar. Ah, 
It's like you're playing it like music. You can scan through any part of it. It shows you the uh, file length. You can do repeat on and off so you don't have to continuously play a certain clip. You can just play through the entire clip multiple times. And then you have start and stop. Uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple application. It is called Fake Excuse. It is a free app from the App Store. I'd recommend going out to at least try it a couple times. It's either you like it or you don't. It's um, I don't know if you ever really need it, but it's a fun app to mess around with for a couple times. Um, I believe this is the last one I have. It's called Convert Any. This is a, also a, a free app from the App Store. It's just a conversion um, application. It's one of those things that I would say download it now. Um, store it in the back because you never know if you're actually going to need it. It can come in handy. Um, what it is is it just conversions. Uh, very simple, very basic steps. It's not too complicated, very easy to set up. And the conversions that you can choose from are currency, distance, volume, temperature, time, weight, area, and then you also have a little settings bar down here. And for settings, all you have is auto update rates. I'd always put that on. And then this little eye information is just legal information if we can even click that. Good thing I can't. Anyway, there's the legal information. Very simple. But example, let's go into time. We will do time. Um, for years, we'll do how many weeks are in a year. No, it's already up there. Let's do how many, how many milliseconds are in one year. There are, good lord, um, that would be thousand. That's a million. There are thirty one billion five hundred fifty seven million six hundred thousand milliseconds in one year. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the entire application. That's what's really simple about it. You can go into currency, uh there's US dollar, Euro, British pound, Japanese yen, Argentina peso, Australian dollar, Bohemian dollar. There's a lot of currency. So, I mean, even if you don't want the application for the other conversions, you can have it just for currency. And I, I mean, I haven't actually I haven't gone through currency yet, and there's a lot of currency in here, so that'd be a good currency converter, too, if you're going to a foreign country. So I definitely recommend this application. It is free, so you're not really harming anything if you download it. I'd go out, download it, store it in the back of your iPod or your iPhone, just in case you ever need it. Um, that's called Convert Any, a free app from the App Store. And that is all that I have. No, it's not. I'm a favorite one left. What am I talking about? Very simple application. It's a free one. It's called iWhoopee. And all, all it is is just different whoopee cushion sounds, and some of them can be taken to the extreme. Uh, it's a free one. It's definitely entertaining. There's nothing really helpful about this app. Um, you've seen what it does right here. There's like 30 or 40 different sound clips. It's always fun just to prank your friends with it. Um, sneak it under the table and then you can do whatever you want. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you've seen iWhoopee. It's a free app from the App Store. I would definitely recommend that one. I love that application, but that one's up to you. That's your call. So anyway, those are my apps that I got for you guys now. None of them are games. Just by request. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day.